Hi, my name's Marie and I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters and I'm going to tell you how to care for mice. I'm going to tell you how to set up a mouse cage. First of all, you need to make sure you have got suitable accommodation for your mice. The best option is either a large glass aquarium or a large storage tank like this. Whatever you go for, make sure you're aiming for around two to three feet in length. Although mice are small, they're very active, so need lots of space to be able to move around and for you to have lots of space to add lots of enrichment in there. Never house them in hamster cages where they've got bars on them. Often mice can squeeze through these, so the best accommodation is your glass tanks. This one is a large converted storage tank and what we've done here is just cut a square out, put some good um, strong mesh on the front with very small holes which mice can't fit through. So setting up the cage, first of all you meant to make sure that you've got the suitable bedding. Place in good sh short shredded, newspaper, uh, shredded paper and place it on the base of the cage. You could also use Carefresh and that again is safe and absorbent for mice. Never use wood shavings as that can often cause parasites and breathing issues. So just place in a good few handfuls and make a nice layer on the base of the cage so it's really absorbent and the mice can have a little dig around in there as well. Then you'll want to add lots of enrichment. A house and a wheel really will not do. They need lots of things to keep them active. In the wild they'll be climbing over all sorts of things, going through rocks and going through tunnels so try and mimic this. Toys don't have to be expensive, so you could use ch children's toys quite easily, as obviously a lot of the children outgrow them. You could also go to your local car boot sale or charity shop, and if you want to purchase actual pet toys, there's many pet shops and rescue centres which, which provide these. So already in there we've got a small children's playhouse and we've also got another children's toy here as well. They've got all sorts of little hidey holes where the mice can climb over them, sleep in there and they'll love rummaging around in this. So just pop that in there, make sure it's nice and sturdy for them. Then what we've also got here is a couple of tunnels. Don't just be adding tunnels just on the floor. Mice have a really long, strong tail and this enables them to be able to balance and climb at different angles. So be creative when you're placing in different tunnels. Ideally place it so that they can use one end to climb onto a different object, but that way they've really got to rummage and forage through them. It's really quite exciting for them and again it would mimic what they'd have in the wild. We've then also got here a hamster and mouse ball. These are really common in pet shops, but generally they're really not that good for pets. Often pets can hurt themselves if they crash into things and people can even trip over them. So the best use of these is to turn them into a nest area. Remove the lid, pop some safe tissue paper bedding and pop that in there and that creates a really nice little snuggly home for them. So you can just pop that in there. It doesn't matter if it's a bit at height because the mice will climb into there and often, as they would in the wild, they'd be going up different tree areas and rocks and finding little coves where they can sleep. Another good thing is fruit tree twigs, apple, pear or cherry. These are brilliant for the mice to chew on, keep their teeth in really good condition and they can climb on them as well. So just place them in the accommodation. Again, it can be in a bit of a varied in, in position so be creative about it. Then you need to make sure you've got a water bottle for them and this will need refreshing every day. So make sure you also clean it out once a week. Place it at a height that not, the mice aren't going to have to overstretch for it and it's comfortable for them. Make sure that's nice and secure on there as well. You'll then also need to provide food. Don't give your mice feed in a bowl. Make sure you scatter it across the accommodation. There are many feeds on the market, but do make sure you add variation. So you can go to your shops um, and or even in your kitchen, you might find cereals, pasta and rice, which you can all provide for your mice and scatter it around in the accommodation. Again, this gives them something to do and encourages natural behaviour. So just scatter it around in the accommodation for them. So our mouse cage is all ready. Now we'll just need to place some mice in there. 
Mice should always be kept in pairs or in small groups. They do need that companionship of their own kind as well as humans. When you're placing them into a carrier like this whilst you're cleaning them out, it's a good idea to just place some of the bedding that they've been used to. So we've got them already in there and you can place one of their old toys back in there so they've got their smell. But always when you're setting it up new, add new things in, change it around because that's going to keep it interesting and they're not going to be seeing the same things all the time. So we'll just place that down there. And then lastly, make sure you've got a secure lid. And they're protected in their accommodation. And that's how to set up a mouse cage.